I have three devices that pretty much run my entire life. My phone, my laptop, and my tablet. And these devices, because of the way I use them and the productivity apps I have on them, significantly increase my overall daily productivity. So I use my iPhone primarily for two things, my task list and my calendar. And I use Todoist and Google Calendar for those. I use my MacBook Pro to do the main bulk of my work, but the most important productivity apps on my MacBook are Notion, ExpressVPN, and Slack. And I use my iPad primarily for note taking, and I use the Notability app for this. And actually the fourth device that I use is this timer. It's particularly helpful if you study or work in chunks. For example, I like to work in one hour deep work sessions with no distractions. And this has been amazing for me in stopping me from getting just distracted while working, right? But I'll talk a bit more about exactly what it is and how I use it later on in the video. My phone is the first thing I pick up in the morning and the last thing I put down at night. But whereas most people use their phone as a procrastination device, I've spent a lot of time turning my phone into a productivity device. I think in terms of improving productivity, it's important to design your home screen to promote productivity. So as soon as I turn my phone on, the app that takes up the most real estate and therefore the first thing I see is my task list. I realized very quickly that if I have my task list hidden away, I soon forget about it. And so the task list essentially becomes useless, but with Todoist widget, I have it right on my home screen. And that's one of the main reasons why I chose Todoist out of all the other hundreds of task lists because their widget is actually really helpful. I also like Todoist because you can automatically schedule tasks throughout the week. So for example, my team and I film these YouTube videos every Friday morning so every Friday morning that task will pop up on my task list without me having to do anything and this happens every day of the week so Wednesday is the day I film reels for Instagram Monday is the day that I upload and optimize videos for YouTube and all those tasks are automatically scheduled on my task list and you can see here that this task is red because I've set it as a priority task because I have time constraints in that the task must be completed today. I also actually have two task lists, my main work task list, which is on my home screen, and a weekend task list, which is full of tasks that are not that important that I need to do either on the weekend or when I have a bit of free time. And the reason why I have two task lists is because I just don't want tasks that are not that important cluttering up my main list. The second app that I need on my phone is ExpressVPN. In my opinion, everyone should have a good VPN on their phone and laptop. So I reached out to ExpressVPN and they very kindly sponsored this video because I've used a lot of VPNs, but ExpressVPN is the only VPN where I can watch Disney Plus streaming from my phone to my TV without it buffering. They do say on their website, our VPN is built for speed powered by next generation technology. And from my experience using it, it really is built for speed. And maybe unsurprisingly, ExpressVPN was rated number one by CNET, The Verge, Mashable, and TechRadar. And on top of all that, the 24 seven live chat means your questions will be answered almost immediately. So I'm based in Vietnam right now, so I basically need a VPN to access streaming platforms like Netflix and Disney Plus, but also I work in coffee shops a lot. I mean, I'm working in a coffee shop at least maybe 20 hours a week. So having a VPN switched on in the background is just nice for peace of mind because the VPN can protect my IP address from being compromised when using public Wi-Fi connections. And that for me is a big deal considering my entire business is run from my laptop and I do a lot of online banking and I have access to clients, bank details and things like that. So that's why I use a VPN when working in public areas. So if you want to check ExpressVPN out, which I really recommend you do, I'll leave a link in the description below. The third most important productivity app on my phone is my Google Calendar. I genuinely don't know what I'd do without a calendar app on my phone. All my appointments, meetings and reminders go here. I see it almost like having 
having a personal assistant where I don't really need to remember anything. I just wake up, check my calendar at the beginning of the day so I know what I have going on that day. And you can also set the calendar to give you a notification one hour before an appointment or meeting so you don't even need to remember you have it. The calendar will remind you. Whereas my iPhone is my personal assistant, my second device, the MacBook Pro 14, is the workhorse where I actually get the work done. So I'm on my laptop at least six to eight hours a day and Notion is by far my most used productivity app. I run both my work life and my personal life from there for my weekly schedule to keep in track of all these YouTube videos I'm making to my knowledge bank where I write down all the golden nuggets from the books I read and the podcasts I listen to so I don't forget them. The second productivity app I use is Slack and Slack is my main work messaging app to communicate with my team but also we moved the product on Inner Circle to Slack so everyone that bought our Transform Your Grades course has access to that community it did start off as Facebook groups, but we had a few hundred people join. But honestly, it was just hard keeping it active. But Slack is so much better for some reason. I think mainly because it's more of a messaging app where people are chatting in real time with each other. Whereas with Facebook groups, you send a message then you expect to reply in a few hours or later the next day. It's just not as seamless and as instant as Slack. And a shout out to Spotify as well. You can see here on my main menu, these are the apps I use the most in order of how often I use them, starting with Google Chrome, then Notion, then Spotify, and finally Slack. I almost always have background music playing with Spotify while I'm working. The third device I use is the iPad mini. Now, I originally bought the iPad Pro with the Magic Keyboard, but it was just so heavy and cumbersome carrying both my laptop and the iPad Pro around everywhere I go. And I realized that I was primarily using my iPad for note taking, usually when I'm on a Zoom call or some kind of meeting. So I downsized to the iPad mini and it's so much better, it's lighter, it's smaller and just more manageable overall. And the app that I use the most by far is Notability. It's just a great note-taking app paired with the Apple Pencil. And the second most used app I use is the Amazon Kindle. I don't remember the last time I've actually read a physical book. It's probably two or three years now. I love how I can seamlessly highlight those golden nuggets of information within the book, which I can then go over later once I've finished reading the book to help kind of soak that information into my long-term memory. Now moving on to the fourth device that I just started using maybe a few months ago now. I like using the Pomodoro technique when working. So working for 25 minute chunks with five minute breaks in between. And I usually use apps such as Forest or Focus to do for these. However, at the same time, I don't like having my phone right there in front of me when I'm working. So I bought this small dedicated timer that sits next to my laptop as I'm working. And it's really good for keeping me focused because I can then hide my phone behind my laptop and all I have is the timer ticking down. It was literally about $10 and aesthetically it looks quite nice too. And on the back of the device, there's a silent mode that I can turn on, which is good for when I'm working in coffee shops so the alarm doesn't go off when the timer reaches zero and it just flashes, which is far better. And by the way, I did mention Notion earlier. I have made a more detailed video on exactly how I use Notion to organize pretty much my entire life. You can click on the card on the screen to watch that. Alternatively, I made another video called my number one productivity hack, self-education. Self-education has genuinely changed my life. You can click on the card on the screen to watch that. And finally, do check out this video's sponsor, ExpressVPN. Link in the description below.